Violence are taking the lives of young people in Atlanta and beyond, and now teens are demanding change, and they're hitting the streets to do it. Our John Shurek has more on the call to action from a group of young people who say they are fed up with the violent crime against their friends and classmates. The hope of youth, powered by their passion and anger, sounding an alarm. How many more lives have to end? How many more mothers have to bury their sons? How many more people have to be lost to gun violence before we say enough is enough? It's important to let our legislators know that we as students are feeling the pain of the gun violence firsthand. Eleanor Jones, chair of the Atlanta Public Schools Student Advisory Committee, along with Zion Bird and Aiden Liebert, all high school seniors in Atlanta, all mourning children they know who have been killed in violent crimes in Atlanta. They organized this rally, proposing a 10-point plan to start to help end violence save young lives. We are the future of Atlanta, we are the future of America, and we are the future of the world, and I feel like we have to start somewhere, and it starts with us. As leaders, we just felt responsible for the issues that were happening, and we kind of wanted to acknowledge this, and it shouldn't be normal. They spoke their truths to power. More money for more law enforcement on and off campus, more extensive after-school programs, greater access to mental health therapy and counseling for families to restore broken homes. Having mental health programs put in place to keep youth off the streets, to give them the support and the love that they need, to let them know that they don't need to, you know, turn to violence in order to find, you know, worthiness or, or things like that. Ten proposals in all, the powerful in charge, grateful for the passion of youth, saying these students are empowered to lead them to save young lives from more violent crimes.